Hey, what's up you guys? Michelle here and today I'm going to be showing you my November 2017 vegan favorites. I have been digging into a lot this month, but most of it has been Thanksgiving related because I actually had four vegan Thanksgivings. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, but I've shown you all that. I showed you that in all of my various Thanksgiving videos. So I basically scoured, just walked around my whole house looking for cool things that I've been loving lately uh, to share with you. And here's what we got. Let's jump right in. Starting with, drum roll, these. Cherryville Farms, my friends. They have these boxed mixes for baked goods like brownies, muffins, peanut butter cookies, cornbread. I made their cornbread the last week when I had um, family coming over and it was so good. Um, pumpkin bread. They just have all these mixes and the mixes are inherently vegan. The stuff that you add in when it calls for like butter, just add earth balance or if it calls for eggs, just add any number of vegan egg replacers, um, vegan milk if it calls for it, but these themselves are vegan and they are awesome. It's just handy, especially over the holidays when you have company coming over and you're already making dinner, you're already like having to clean the house, you're prepping so many things, like the last thing you need to do is bake everything from scratch. So these are a huge, huge help and they're really accessible. Like I got a bunch of these at Sprouts and you can probably get them on their website online too, Cherryville Farms. I'll link them down below. Um, next up, let's dive into an old classic favorite. I'm sure I've told you about this before, but in case you missed that video, I figured I'd include it again. This is the Trader Joe's Island Soyaki Sauce. Oh my lord, you guys, this stuff is so good. I always have at least one, usually two bottles of it in my pantry. Um, and I use it for tofu scramble, number one. So good, even in the morning, like this seems like maybe not something you'd wanna eat in the morning. It just adds such flavor and richness to tofu scramble, it's so good. You could also use it for just stir fried veggies over rice, very dynamic. You can use it for a lot of things and it's so good. So if you have a Trader Joe's nearby and you haven't tried this, I highly recommend doing that. If you don't, you can also pick up Island Teriyaki and most normal grocery stores. Um, and it's very similar. It's not exactly the same, but it is close enough. Sometimes I get that too. All right, the next food item, I had like a heartbeat of a second of debate of whether to show this because I know I'm gonna get so much hate for it. Uh, but Top Ramen, I grew up eating Top Ramen almost every day. I went vegetarian when I was eight years old and my parents were just like, fine, do it, but you're on your own. You're making your own food. So. I made ramen noodles almost every day. <laughs> I don't recommend that, but it is nice to know that there are vegan ramen options out there, even from mainstream brands like Top Ramen. And they relabeled this one, the soy sauce flavor, and added a vegetarian label to it. When Tony showed me this, I was like squealed so loud in the grocery store. Very exciting. And yeah, it used to be called the Oriental flavor. And it's always been accidentally vegan, even the packet, but now they've labeled it more clearly. So I'm very, very happy to share that. And sorry for those, if you're trying to be the most health, healthy, optimal person, don't eat Top Ramen. But you know, if you're living on a budget or just need something quick and fast and satisfying and it's this or like beef stew, like go for this please y'all. Next up, we've got a really fun new vegan clothing company. It's called Hide Beyond and First of all, their founders are awesome. They donate to tons of organizations. They supported World of Vegan in big ways and they're working with Vote Couture to make sure that they're distributed all across Europe. So that is awesome. Um, they have a lot of really cute clothes. This one says fur belongs to animals. And on the front, it's got a little fox. So cute, I think it looks like Chance, my dog, but um, they have all sorts of stuff. They have, actually the shirt that I'm wearing is from Hide Beyond, and they have a lot of shirts about avocados, like this one, avocado nonstop, just really cute stuff. And they have like specifically vegan designs, like this one, vegan for the soul, vegan, vegan food for the soul. So cute. So I'll link them below if you wanna check them out. I just, uh, I love, I love a company that's, vegan owned and operated and also that gives back and they definitely give back in a huge, huge way. And it's really cool that they're working with other um, companies like Vote to bring 
their jackets, vegan jackets and everything to the rest of the world. That's awesome. So yay, hide beyond. Okay, the next one, we've got a cookbook. This is the Vegan Cupcakes Take Over the World. They also have Vegan Cookies Take Over the World and one more that I can't remember. Vegan Cakes Take Over the World? What's the last one? Let me know below. Um, but anyway, these cute little cookbooks and if you're into making cupcakes, which I've been having fun with lately, like they're so fun when you have people over or birthday parties or whatever, this is the Vegan Cupcake Bible. Like, don't make some random one-off vegan cupcake recipe from the internet when you can have the cupcake Bible. These are also really great for gifts. One year I gave my friend three of these, the little three pack, just with a ribbon around it. It's so cute, so thought I'd share that. And this is by Issa Chandra Moskowitz and Terry Hope Romero. So they're two of the most like prominent vegan cookbook authors. You know the recipes are, are good. They've been tested a million times and you can depend on them. So I always appreciate that. All right, next up. If you have a DSLR camera, or you might be getting one for the holidays, or whatever, there's one in your basement you like haven't dusted off and used because it's too complicated, I just wanna let you know what the best lens is that you should definitely get. It's not that expensive, but it is a 50 millimeter 1.8 fixed lens. Even if you're brand new to photography, like this is the lens that you have to have Forget your kit lens that like zooms and is like really bad quality. People think the problems with their camera, but it's not, it's all about the lens. And this is a really affordable lens for incredible quality photos. Um, it doesn't zoom. So you're gonna have to like move your body forward or backwards if you want it, your subject closer or further away, but it just gets that beautiful blurred background. It goes down to F1.8. So yeah, it's just got this pretty, it's called bokeh in the background. And I absolutely love it. I've been getting a ton of questions lately about what photography and film equipment I use. So I just want to share like little helpful tidbits in these videos. I might do a full video on it, but for now I'm showing you like the one essential. Anyone that I know who owns a camera with lenses that you add on and doesn't have a 50 millimeter, what are you doing? Get on this, put it on your holiday list. It's awesome. I'll link it below as well. I'll link like my full kit of different camera and video stuff that I use and accessories, but I've been doing this a long time, so it can get really overwhelming to look at everything, but that's like a must have if you're into photography. And one more thing. The last thing I'm gonna show you is a piece of art. Ignore the frame, I got it for like $5 somewhere. But within is this really cute painting of cows. I love cows. The artist here is Catherine, Catherine Ronsky. I got this when I was at Animal Place at one of their events, but she has a lot of pig drawings, cow drawings, just all different farmed animals, and I love them. Like, I really love her art style. So, I don't know, I'm, I was just walking around my house picking out stuff that I love, and this is one of them. So if you want some cow art, I will link that below as well. That, am I missing anything? No. That is all I've got for you this month in November. November is almost over, so I was just like, woo, gotta scurry and get this together. I'm trying to do this every month. Don't hold me to it, guys, but uh, I'm trying. Let me know down below what you've been loving lately. Like, if you can do a quick run around your space and just like see if there's anything you've been really loving, I would so love to hear about it so I can check it out and maybe, who knows, maybe it'll be in a future favorites video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a phenomenal Thanksgiving if you're in the United States or Canada at a different time <laughs> uh, or just an awesome weekend. And thank you for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.